Hello, everybody. Welcome back. We're going to do another test of Unbreaking 3, this time on armor. And our goal here is to see the effective durability of having the Unbreaking 3. So, shall we begin? Um, a piece of armor... Oops. A piece of armor, diamond armor in particular, has 528 durability points. And I've been trying to calibrate taking damage here. And I've got it calibrated to dealing 250 uh, units of damage, I guess. Well, it does a total of um, 499 here, damage. But the actual damage ticks are is 250. So it, it damages me 250, for, or damages me 250 times for about uh, two damage values per hit. Except for the first hit, for some reason, just does one. So the way I've been doing this, I tried various things. I tried arrows out, uh, which was a good suggestion. And I had it calibrated. I could just have it shoot like 100 arrows at me every time. But I decided to go for a faster route, and I did lava instead. So in here's a lava bucket. And when we hit this button, it's going to get dispensed. And it's going to stay dispensed until our armor gets down to the 29 durability. So... I've already done a test with the regular protection, but let's go ahead and do it again. So I'm going to put that on. And now if I walk in here, I've got these pressure plates just to automatically put me into uh, survival mode here. And then as soon as I hit that, the lava is going to come out and it's going to start damaging me. So you can see each time I take a damage, it damages the armor for two points. And we'll continue in this fashion until it gets down to... In this case, it should go down to 29 with this calibration. So I'll just go ahead and let this run its course and make sure that is the case. And there we go. Brought our armor down to 29. So I think the initial damage of lava just does the one damage. And then after that, it's two damage, I guess. <laughs> I'm sure there's some justification for that. Okay. So, um, we're going to take that, and we'll just throw it in here with the other ones. So that is our, our control, is right here, these two. Now, the reason I put protection on there is because I also want to look at, at the end, in terms of repairing it. So I want to I compare the repair costs of having on breaking three on it and just having protection. So similar to what we did with the swords, I'll do a similar analysis with the armor and we'll decide from that if it's if you're better off in terms of diamond use and level use in having unbreaking 3 on your armor. All right, so the next step I'm going to put on this n Oops, is that the right one? No, that's the wrong one. We will put on the Unbreaking 3 armor. Now, I haven't done this test yet, actually. So this will be the first time live with you guys. And here we go. Okay, I did the test, but uh, we had a mishap here. Due to the fact that wood actually catches fire and burns away, uh, my water source went away, and the lava took a bit longer to dissipate, so I ended up losing, or I ended up taking more damage than I should have. So we are going to redo this test. So I'll go ahead and hop back in. And here we go. All right, there we go. 174. So that's like just under 100 and, oops, where is it? Just under 150 extra durability compared to the 29. So, cool, cool. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to repeat that a bunch of times or maybe four more times just to get a bigger data pool going as this there is some randomness to this part, so... I want to make sure we get a decent amount of values and then we'll average it out like we did last time. Oh, 
All right, everybody, the numbers have been crunched. Now, this one's a little bit more... Hmm, I guess it's kind of more straightforward, actually, than the sword. Um, I took the numbers, and I will bring those up. Do 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 do. Okay. So actually what I did was, I tested it out, I did 20 times with Unbreaking 3 on the enchantment. And it averaged out to having an extra 149.7 durability units remaining. So what I do there is I take that 149 and I compare that to the amount of damage it did take. So we did our control was this guy and it took 499 damage to it and it turns out that even though the lava was doing two damage per hit each individual durability was being calculated individually so what that meant is sometimes I would take with the unbreaking sometimes it would take one damage sometimes it would take two sometimes it would take zero so what that meant is that each durability unit seems to be measured independently so that's good so now so yeah we take this so we take the 499 and I take my 149 and I compare that 149 to the difference of that and the 499 and we get a a value of which I'm calling like effective durability you get an effective durability increase of 43 percent so all that means is that armor will last 43 percent longer so it's not like tools. Like tools last basically 400% longer. They last four times as long. Your armor doesn't last that much longer, which would be probably OP if it did. So yeah, the it only does 43%, but that's still a gain. And and that is confirmed to what the wiki says. My value was actually calculated up to like 42.8, I think. And the wiki says average of 43. So we were pretty much bang on there. Considering I did 20 tests, that came pretty close to 43. Okay. So what does that tell us, and what does that mean again? Now, armor. Here I did a basic set of armor with just... Um, oops. That's not supposed to say <laughs> unbreaking 3. This is just protection on the left. Uh, unbreaking is on the right. So on the left, we have the values. And this time I added in the armor. Last time I didn't repair... My last test of the armor, I didn't show how much it would cost to repair with armor. And actually, there's a benefit to repairing with armor. Um, it's cheaper. So, opposed to the tools, where it's cheaper to put like a single diamond in, usually, compared to using a tool. And sometimes a tool ends up being too expensive, where using a diamond is actually feasible. With armor, it seems almost like the opposite is true. Now, I didn't do a full-scale test or anything. Uh, but most of the time you can repair with a piece of, if you can repair the tool you could probably repair it with a piece of armor now the cost effectiveness of using a piece of armor to repair your tool opposed to using individual diamonds is where it gets you get at a loss so because again each diamond you put in will repair the the piece of armor for about 25% so you can put a maximum of 4 diamonds into each piece of armor you got to look at that compared to how many diamonds it would take in a piece of armor. So for boots being only four diamonds to make, it's actually better to repair with another pair of boots than it is to repair with individual diamonds. It'll cost you less levels. And a helmet is... It'll cost you one extra diamond. So here I could read you kind of the cost per per diamond. So if you repair a helmet with individual diamonds, you get about 90, 91 durability per diamond, where if you use armor, you get 72 durability. So there it's it's better to use individual diamonds, like an individual diamond will go further in terms of repairing your tool or repairing the armor than an individual dimer in, diamond in armor piece. Um Various ones, the benefit increases, like the ones that cost more, like the chest piece and leggings. There's obviously more benefit in using diamonds. So like a chest piece repairing with armor, you get 66 durability per diamond. 
where if you use diamonds, you get 131 per diamond. So that is almost double. And for leggings, it's 71 per armor or per diamond in a piece of armor, compared to 123.5 per diamond if you're using individual diamonds. But and then leggings is 106 per diamond, and that's regardless of whether you use individual diamonds or another piece of armor. However, okay, if you have a blacksmith villager that will sell you diamond armor, then that would be the best way to repair your armor, would be to just use armor pieces and not use individual diamonds at all. Because uh, typically it's going to cost you less levels, and if it's repairable with a piece of armor, typically it's repairable with individual diamonds or vice versa. So yeah. If you have a blacksmith, that would be probably the best way to repair. And if you're repairing your boots, you might as well use a, another set of boots, unless you're only putting like a diamond into it or something. But if you look here at the bottom, you can see that even just putting in like one diamond is sometimes equal to, in experience, the same as putting a whole armor piece. Um, so it's very close. It usually looks like it's about the same as putting two. So repairing for 100% with the armor piece is equivalent to repairing to like 50% with diamonds. And even here, this one's actually the same. So putting one diamond costs the same as putting basically four diamonds in the form of a pair of boots. Okay, so for these boots, so we have all these costs on the sides. For the boots, I did put feather falling on there because typically you guys want feather falling on your boots, I imagine. So on the left-hand side, we have the protection four, unbreaking three all across the board, except the boots also have feather falling four on top of it. So, in this case, putting unbreaking on it um, has no ill effect. Like, every piece of armor is still repairable with that combination of enchantments. And in fact, I did a quick check, and I believe most of them are still repairable, even if you don't have Protection 4, because Protection 4 is the cheaper enchantment out of the other ones, like Projectile, Fire, and Blast. Blast is the most expensive, and Projectile and Fire are in between and they cost the same as each other. So for the items that cost the most, like boots, I went ahead and tried doing some other combinations. I did some projectile instead of the um, proje uh, projection and blast protection. Now blast protection becomes too expensive even just with a single diamond it's 42 levels and also with a pair of boots it's 42 levels. So you want to avoid putting Blast Protection on your boots if you want to use Unbreaking 3. And Projectile Protection is actually repairable. So 34, 38, you can repair for 50% with diamonds. Or you can still actually repair with a full set of boots for 100% at only 34 levels. So if you want Unbreaking 3 on your boots with Feather Falling, you can put any enchantment you want except for blast and it will still be repairable. And that the armor pieces, you can put any one you want. Now the helmet, I decided to take another test here. Now our helmets, we like to have Respiration 3 and Aqua Affinity. However, those ex with all those enchantments on there, it gets pretty expensive. So here on the left is Respiration 3, Aqua Affinity 1, and Protection 4. Now this guy is repairable. As you can see, you can put two diamonds in, 32, 36, or you could repair with a helm for 32. However, if I add on Unbreaking 3 onto the mix, it becomes too expensive right off the bat, and even with a single diamond. So you would not be able to repair a helmet that has... Do I have one on me? Yeah. Respiration 3, Aqua Affinity 1, Protection 4, oh, that's Unbreaking 2, there's Unbreaking 3. So if we go try to repair him, Unbreaking 3, we try to put a diamond in, 43 levels, we try to put a helmet, 42 levels. And again, 39 is the maximum you can do in a survival setting, so that is no go. But I decided to try, and this kind of, because of Damian asked... In my last test, what about like Unbreaking 2 or Unbreaking 1? Would that still benefit being put onto a sword so that you could maybe get more combination of enchantments? And in the last test, the case, I did the math, and I think that is true. Any type of Unbreaking will benefit you 
on a sword, assuming it is still repairable. Um, so if you can, you might be able to do like unbreaking one or unbreaking two on a sword and maybe add in another enchantment. I may look into that. So I decided to ex experiment with that with this helm. So I did the same thing here, but instead of adding unbreaking three, I added unbreaking two. And then I added Unbreaking 1. So Unbreaking 2, so exact same piece of armor, but now it just has Unbreaking 2 on there. I go to repair it. Still too expensive at 41. And the helmet, 40. Uh, just. So I knocked it down to Unbreaking 1. Which, where did you go, guy? There you are. And you can repair it with a single diamond for 39 levels, just. Or a helm for 38 levels. Ooh, mobs. Oh, thunderstorms. <laughs> so yeah, um, you could do this combination. So Unbreaking 1, Protection 4, Respiration 3, Aqua Affinity 1. Now you would want to avoid putting Blast or Projectile Protection or Fire Protection on this guy because it will become too expensive even with Unbreaking 1. So Protection 4 is kind of the only one you want to do if you want to do it. Or you could do Unbreaking 3 with no Protection 4 and have it last 43% longer. So the value for Unbreaking 1 is 25% longer. So you still get a gain. It'll still last a quarter longer than it would without the Unbreaking 1, and it's still repairable. And if you have Villagers, you could repair it once at 38 levels with a helmet instead of repairing it four times with individual diamonds at 39 levels. All right, well, I think that concludes this test. So, in general, Unbreaking 3 on armor is worthwhile. And I didn't test anything with thorns on there, because thorns gets quite expensive, but we might do a test on its own in regards to thorns, um, how quickly it depletes the durability compared to a piece of armor that does not have thorns. And yeah, so that could be one of our next tests. I think someone else asked about bows as well, so we could test bows. I believe bows fall in the same category as a sword, so they should last four times as long. But I'm sure we could set up a test to test that one. And since that one only costs sticks and string to repair, um, as long as the bow doesn't become too expensive with Unbreaking 3, so we could look at various Unbreaking three enchantments on a bow combined with other things and see what is still repairable and figure out what might be the ideal bow with unbreaking three on it. All right, guys. Well, I hope this test was satisfactory and I hope I didn't screw up anywhere. And I hope you found this information informative. Is that the way to say that? I don't know. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. See you in the next test.